Get full access to over 10,000 episodes with your paid subscription. My Outdoor TV. Start your free trial today. When it comes to building a shelter, I have several options. Uh, the simplest one, that is a lean-to shelter. And then we've got the A-frame shelter. And uh, another option is the TP shelter. And you know, I, I'm gonna stay in this camp for a long time and I want to be able to, to heat up my shelter inside. I've got lots of uh, building material to collect and in the meantime we'll have a look at some other hunting I like to do in the beginning of the season and that is uh, calling foxes. Det var det på lock det. Faktisk ganske fin i pelsen. Det var det, det var skikkelig moro det med si. Min første rev på Predator Call 4. Moro. Skal prøve å få vinn av oss, tenker
Det blev dubbla det. Det var bra skyting. Kom på lockdown. Den kom på lockdown. Han är inte dålig där nu. Jo, där datten. Det gjorde en fan. Det var dubbel det. Där ligger den andra, ser du? Här, här, här. Två rever på lock det Anders. Dag kväll kvällens första där på lock. Går du unna nå, Anders? Nå går du unna. Perfekt skudd på den nummer to. Ja, det har vært litt holdt på nå, så... Ja. Moro dette? Ja, men det er ikke mye som slår å dreve en god plokk. Nei, det er faktisk ikke det.
Det var en på lock där Björn. Ja, på lock. Hade du bra drag på? Ja, grejt drag. <laughs> Grattis. When I call foxes, I have a few different sounds I use. The most common one is a hare distress or rabbit distress. And then there is a small bird in distress or woodpecker distress. Those sounds, they, they usually work really well here in Europe. Foxes are really clever animals and they're mostly nocturnal. So being able to call foxes out in the open uh, during daylight is really rewarding. Are you clear? Det er springen nummer to. Det er løper igjen nummer to. Har du den? Ja, ja, ja. Har du den? Ja, ja, ja. Nå snakker vi, Anders. Det her, det er faen meg helt sjukt. Her setter vi oss ned. Og nå har jeg lukket i ja, fem minutter. Jeg har skutt to rever som har kommet inn på, på rådilokken, så det dundret. Og så sitter vi der og prater, og jeg er egentlig helt i hundre, helt skjelven. Så ser du, så kommer bukken bare rett inn. Duble på, eller egentlig trippel da, på rev og... Og rådyr på den posten her, det er helt sykt. Nå, nå vi faen, jeg er så skjermet. Dette, dette er helt rått. Fy faen, Anders. Først dette ser ut som en revevalp. Han bare kom så du dundra på, på rådyrkillingen. Ja, men det var fin sekstager. Skikkelig fine perlinger og... Rått. Vi se om det er, det er hannrev, ja. Calling animals is a lot of fun. And uh, 
Many of you know that I do produce my own game calls. These are Clausen game calls. I have one for roe deer and four different ones for predators. And I'm gonna demonstrate uh, the different calls now. The first call I'm gonna demonstrate now is um, Clausen Predator Call 1. Um, and this is a hair distress call uh, resembling a dying hair. And I'm gonna put on the extension so you can hear uh, the difference in the tone and pitch. You can hear a quite big difference just by putting on this extension. And when you have this extension on, this call also work really well for coyotes. And I've called uh, European lynx, I've called um, foxes, badgers, marten, and in um, in Canada I've also called uh, lynx and black bear with this call. The second call I'm gonna demonstrate is uh, Clausen Predator Call 2 and I'm gonna start with a woodpecker in distress. And that can sound uh, like that. There is a, a lot of different woodpeckers, but, um, but this is the sound of one woodpecker in distress. And the next one is a hare in distress. So with this call I can make two different sounds. The third call I'm gonna show, that is um, predator call number three, and this is a small bird in distress. So it's, it's a light sound uh, with, with not that long reach. Um, that means that this call also works well for young foxes in the summertime. You know this, this powerful, um, hair distress calls, they can actually scare away foxes that doesn't have, um, you know, self-confidence or young foxes. So the fourth call, this is um, Clausen Predator call number four, uh, closed read hair distress. And can sound like that. The last call I'm gonna show is the Clausen Rodier call. I can make different contact sounds for young ones and for females and also a distress sound. And now the distress. So this distress sound is a sound that uh, if a female is not ready to be mated but a buck is too eager and is trying to push her, she can make this sound. And when I make this I want to, you know, make the resident buck in his uh, territory think that uh, another buck is coming and pushing his one of his females. So uh, these are... Um, Clausen game calls and as I said uh, calling animals is a lot of fun so you should try it. Mm -hmm.